check it. This is a very long video, but like it's a conversation I would like us to engage in. So while watching this video, I'd like you to take your time to listen and ask me questions in the comment section. I would I want to engage with people like that. Because as I was talking, um I was really just putting things in. But like there are things like I do want to answer, you know, there are things most people want to ask and most people do ask me on WhatsApp and I watch the video and ask me on WhatsApp. But like um, let's, let's keep in the comment section, you know, keep in the comment section, uh, share with a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, please. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, since I started again, I have a couple of videos for, for you guys. Then I got what I paid for. Kelly Kush, Ash it in my Gucci TVT I learned how to hustle way before my ABCs. Gang, 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 get with me. Bang, 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 that's the weed. Bang, nigga, no, you can't hang. Jeez! Anyways, guys, I'm back. I'm back with a new video. It's been a couple of months. Duh, almost like six months, you know what I'm saying? But I'm back with a video because I'm sad, bro. I'm sad, I'm distracted, I'm unhappy. Bro, life, 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 life is hitting me, bro. Life is hitting me and it's crazy, yeah. But um, I'm back and ha, ah, you know the vibes. I hope y'all didn't forget the intro. I hope y'all didn't forget the intro. Okay, let me teach it to you since like, 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 let's go, let's go. I am the lion, the king of the jungle. Call me Mufasa. I'll cool now my time. Okay, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. I am the lion, the king of the jungle. Call me Mufasa Akuna Matara. Sheesh! Update on whatever is happening. Okay, so I lost my phone. I used to vlog with my phone, yeah? So I lost my phone, meaning I lost like everything in my phone. I recently got a new phone. That um, video is coming up. Um, I never did a, ta a tag me, what, what not. Because everybody viewing my stuff already knew me, but for y'all did not know me, my name is Del Leon. Del Leon King Suriani. Um, I'm 23 years old. I'm a struggling student. I'm trying to hustle. Um, I'm lacking a lot of equipment right now to like do the proper videos. You know what I'm saying? But I do accept e wallets. I'm gonna put my number somewhere in your phone. Man. If you wanna e wallet me, you know what I'm saying? about yeah what else would somebody want to know about me my relationship status sheesh that's debatable for now but like maybe for the end of this video um i would have come up with a conclusion of my relationship status but bro let me tell you how life's been hitting me bro like it's crazy fam it's crazy isn't it? my life been up and down man good bad um it's pretty crazy yeah so in november a few days after my birthday surprisingly scary moment yeah scary moment um my dad had a, had a mild heart attack yeah it was crazy probably the whole story time on that i want him to also be a part of it you know um yeah so like but like um november 27 i believe did a heart attack it was one of the scariest times is it even right english one of the scariest times yeah i've had, I've had multiple scary times yeah but it was it was it was it was pretty scary yeah? um but he's good he got his surgery and he's good it's in the blood you know what i'm saying but yeah so november 2021 they got a heart attack uh december 15 my phone broke uh so like true and i like crazy content like just waiting i was supposed to drop some content to, for christmas so drop content for new year's it's just a whole lineup of stuff happening bro uh so i didn't enjoy my december that much i'm joking i enjoyed it bro but like it was one of those like you actually enjoyed it because you didn't have a phone, you weren't snapping, you were actually in the moment. Woo! It was vibes, bro. The catch. Another round. I'm like, 
it's a story for another day. But yeah, um, yeah, okay, fine. That's that's the bad part about it. January, uh, January, uh, okay, January, nothing really happened, man. Nothing really, nothing crazy happened in January. February, uh, started with school and shit, and then, bro, bro. I don't even know how to start, yeah? I don't know how to start, but I'm supposed to start somewhere, yeah? To give you guys a story time. I think I'm about to give you guys a story time, yeah? So, I met this Han, who I technically met two years ago. But we never met. Okay, so... I used like like she's like one of my like like you know what IG crush in it. Uh, I I DM'd this one time two years ago. I was like, hey man, I seen you around the hood. Oh, she lives very close by to where I stay. I'm not gonna tell you where I stay if you know you don't. But I'm just saying. But like uh, she lives close by. So like, hey, I seen you around and I think you're very gorgeous, isn't it? We should probably hang out or you know get some food sometime. I was like, yeah, for sure, my G. No problem. I say less. We never linked up because she always had excuses. Ah, oh, she's busy, she can't do this, her parents can't let her out. Da, 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 da. I get it. You're a pretty girl, your parents ain't gonna let you out like that. You know what I'm saying? But like, she did used to go out, but in the game was a thing of I'm a stranger, innit? So, I waited, man. I'm, I mean, I'm a man of patience, man. Uh, you know, and I tell myself this if I like you, I will get you. That's it. If I want you, I'll make you money. Yeah, man, like, I'm not saying I manifest things. I'm saying I speak things into existence. I won't wait for you to come around. I make things happen. You understand? So I, so beginning of the year, what did she want to do at the beginning of the year? Beginning of the year, okay, she recently lost her ID. She probably lost her ID in December. Uh, you see how I lost my phone and she lost the ID here? Yeah? The universe just, 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 just making things make sense, yeah? Cool. So she hits me up in January. She's like, hey, bro, I know we haven't spoken in a minute, but like, um, are you busy today? So I'm like, hey, what do you need? Talk to me. She's like, nah, man, like tomorrow morning I need a ride. Can you, get, uh, can you take me to pick up my ID? Now I'm like, normally I'm like, ha, hell no. Me wake up for you, you know? But like, I'm like, man... I've been trying to link up with this hand for a minute. So I'm like, you know what? I got you. What time should I pick you up? Han is like around 8-ish. Is that too early? I'm like, baby girl, I got you. But I don't wake up with 8. <laughs> I don't wake up with 8. So I cool, cool, cool. Um, I pull up with 8. My, this whole time, yeah? Like, I mean, we've crossed, but like, I've, I've never been up close. So I... I'm a short guy, by the way. I'm not saying I'm insecure or anything, but every time I met a Han, who was my height, just slightly taller, you know, they were like, oh, you're so short, oh, this, oh, that. But surprise, and I mind her pictures, she looks very tall in her pictures, by the way. Pictures, videos, she looks crazy tall, but she isn't. She's like, she's taller than me, and I'm a short nigga, you know what I'm saying? So she pulls up by the curtain, I'm like, wow, damn, like, I'm like, I'm like, you actually find in real life. You're like, oh my god, don't say that. You're making me shout. I'm like, ah, okay, I say this. Ah, we go to, ah, we, we talk here, man. We're getting to know each other, we're catching up. You're like, hey, I'm, I'm glad to finally meet you. Uh, you. You're pretty chilled, homie. You know, um, I didn't expect you to say yes. And I was like, ah, nah, man, I wasn't doing anything. You know, I'm being modest, innit? So I have to be modest, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we're talking, uh, you know, I'm just being me, bro, vibrant, you know, energy, vibes, I'm asking your questions, leading questions, you know, questions that lead into ne the next question, the next question, and she's like, wow, bro, like, I normally don't speak a lot, but, like, I like what, I like the conversation we're having, she don't know, man, okay, I mean, okay, most people don't know they have conversations, like, I feel like I'm a conversationalist, most people can't have a conversation, they ask you a question, and he, they would answer yes, no, no, no. I mean, if you, I had a person like that, trust me, bro. I'm asking deep questions, leading questions. You going to want to elaborate yourself? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm gonna put you in a spot where are you trying to say something about yourself? You know, you're gonna have to tell me, bro. You know what I'm saying? 
So I so she she she, she was talking to me, bro. For like, mind we were talking maybe for a brief ten minutes. I was driving really slow for that. I was this five five minute drive, you know. With, with you know, I, I drive a pretty decent car. Like a fit, uh, five minute drive. I was like, nah, let me relax. So we're talking, and she was like, whoa, bro. Like I feel like I'm sharing way too much. I'm like, nah, don't worry about it, bro. It's a thing of mine. People tend to tell me things. Ha, sheesh. We pull up at um, Home Affairs before the new building, right? They say, back there in um, whatever area that's called, not industry. So I, we pull up. We pull up. Um, I get out of my car. I move to a door. I open the door for her. She's like, wow, you open the door for me. I'm like, I'm a gentleman, though. I cool. And I'm like, wow, you, you, you actually short. And she's like, is that a bad thing? I'm like, is that a what? I'm like, I mean, nah, man, I'm just surprised that you're shorter than me. Now, crazy thing, yeah? Like, this one of the spots. At the time, she had a boyfriend. So... I mean, clearly she saw us shooting my shot or anything. I have been actually in a DM trying to shoot my shot. So she was like, yo, Del, I have a boyfriend. And I was like, um, I know, I noticed. Cause I, I'm, I'm, I check out her Instagram once in a while and I'm not stalking or anything, it just come around, you know? So I was like, no, no, I, I noticed, I noticed. So she's like, I cool. I was like, is that okay with you? So I'm like, what do you mean is that okay with me, brother? You have a boyfriend. What do you mean is that okay with me? So I'm like, um, I won't overstep my boundaries. You know what I'm saying? And she said, I right, cool, no problem, no problem. So we get her ID. Oh, before she got her ID, she was like kind of struggling. So I was like, hey, I got you. So I walked up to the place, I explained, da 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 pa 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 got her ID. And she was like, oh my God, but if you weren't here, I was going to wait till too long. I'm like, you, you know what I'm saying? I got you. So I cool. And then she's like, Yo, like, since um, we didn't take long, we still have like, like time. Can would you mind if we went to go buy some stuff? I think she'd buy stuff for nails or something. I said, Let's go. So I say, Let's. Mm, well, we went, bought stuff for nails. And then she was like, Yo, like, aren't you hungry? Can I buy you something? I was like, Oh, I mean, since you offered, I mean, I would really love a burger, innit? So she's like, okay, cool, I like burgers too. So like, okay, cool. So we got ourselves burgers and then she was like, um, are we having takeaway or sitting down? And I was like, I mean, what, what would you like to do? And she's like, um, do you have something to do? And I was like, this is like around 11-ish. I was like, okay, um, my siblings come at like 1.30. She's like, mine too. She's like, okay, fine, cool. I guess we can sit down and by one we can, you know, disperse. So I was like, all right, cool. So we sat down, yeah. And... I guess at this point she was not interested. She started asking me leading questions. Now mind from us. One of the main things I liked about her, no no, she's like in like Instagram, I liked her because she's a baby, bro. She's fine. I'm like, mm. but like as we started talking, I realized she's a smart heart, intellectual. Woo! So I guess at this point she is now like um digested most of it. So we sat down, she was asking me proper questions and i'm talking about proper i'm talking about do you have a five-year plan where do you see yourself in life what do you think about kids uh how do you take your studies are you, are you serious about life I, bro like she's basically interviewing me it wasn't even interrogation it wasn't a get to know you tag there was a straight up interview bright intervention now just like whoa but you know me i'm ready for it i'm ready for this i'm like you know what let's go now I, I was not lying, brother. For the first time in a while, I was just being me. No Mac, no nothing, no game. Just me, bro. Bro, we are laughing, we are talking, I'm answering your questions. And she's like, bro, I didn't actually think you were like this. You know that word? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, so she told me like I didn't think you'd be like this. So like, oh, oh, what did you expect? You're like, nah. Um, cause at uh, this point I had her number, but I deleted her number because she had a boyfriend. Yeah. She was like, bro, I've seen your status and watch your stories. The way you are right now isn't what you're saying. So she thought 
I was running game. Like, but hear me out, my guys. Social media is fake. There are some people who are very true on the social media. My social media isn't fake per se. It's my my everybody is an alter ego. Yeah, fake was the wrong word. Everybody is an alter ego. It really could be a version of me, but it's a social media version of me. Um, I was t- I was giving her a version of me. You understand? Which I don't share with a lot of people. Like you have to be really close to me to 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 finally realize or notice that. Huh, so Del isn't all about this, or all about that. Because she was saying, yeah, hey, bro, I've seen, I've seen your Instagram, you're talking about clapping cheeks, you're always posting ass and titties, and she was like, and you say you into me, I don't know, oh, she's like, she's she like, tiny boobs, cute. But like, so she was like, I don't even have boobs like that, I don't have a fat ass like that, but I'm not going to cap the ass though. <sighs> But like, so, you know, she, she's like, so like, I don't understand, you know? So I'm like, whoa, 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 relax. Thing about women is, y'all tend to compare yourselves to what you see. If I had a dark skin tall X, you'd compare yourself to my dark skin tall X. Why? Just because I dated a dark skin tall girl, doesn't mean I only like dark skin tall girls. You know what I'm saying? Thing is, maybe it's just me here. Yeah? Every girl I've ever liked, I've liked something about them. You understand? It could be that she got the fattest ass and I like that. It could be that your smile is just amazing. It could be that your eyes, your face, just something about you is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I like certain features about people. And I'm not going to care. Looks to me matter, bro. I've, I've technically only dated the cutest girls, you know? I like talking to someone I like seeing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be appealing to my eyes, you know? Personality is a bonus. It's technically, like I said, I know how to bring out certain parts in conversations. I, I, I know how to talk to people. Your personality could be trash for a while, but after you spend some time with me, you will know what I'm saying. I got that energy, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? But like, yeah, so, uh, I realized she's a hand that loves assurance. So I not say I assured her, but um, I I corrected her into into a different perception of myself. Um, cause hear me out. She 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 had a picture of the type of girls I'm into, and she had a picture of the type of guy I am. So when I changed her version of the type of guy I am, she questioned the type of girls I'm into. You understand? So we were getting to it and I said, yo, don't worry about the girls I'm in. Don't worry about the Instagram on the post. But our fat ass is nice to see. And that's almost about it. Like it's nice to see. What are, what am I gonna do with the hand with a booty these days? I'm just probably gonna look at it, but like, eesh. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's not, it's not that deep. And um boobs or ass, ass bro. Ass don't sag. Sheesh. Okay, I, I recently had ass don't sag, but like, I live in Namibia, bro. Ass don't sag. But yeah, anyways, mm, so yeah, we we spoke, and one o'clock came, and she left. Now, now guys, that one day. In the last three years, was the best conversation I had. So yeah, that one day, I had the best conversation ever. And I kept thinking about it, like, wow. 
I didn't expect the day to go the way it went. And I liked it. And we didn't talk for a while. Um, we were both doing registration. Oh, we were both at UNAM, yeah? Both doing registration and whatnot. So my, my part of my registration was kind of hectic. Too much, too much going on. Finances. I don't know if you have heard, but I'm a broke boy. So yeah, you know, so so finally figured things out, and I had time, you know. Classes weren't didn't yet start or weren't as hectic, you know. So I hit her up. I was like, hey, you know what, what happened? We linked up in January. I only talked to her again mid February or was it end of February? February 25th, February 25th, I hit her up in the DMs, I was like, hey, um, um, how are you doing and what are your plans for next week? And she was like, I'm good and nothing much really, why? And I said, um, I would like to take her on a date. No, 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 I said, would you like to go out for breakfast? And then she was like, um, they would be nice, I really don't mind. And I was like, nah, I don't like that response. So I said, can I take you out on a date? And she was like, well, a date? And she was like, um, I'm not trying to get into something. I just recently got, got out of a relationship. Now mind, now mind. I shot my shot without knowing she wasn't dating a boyfriend anymore. But I just feel like, what's the universe, guys? Hear me out. My phone broke. Yeah? Her ID went missing. She hits me up in January. And after we had our encounter again, okay, trust me, it's not me, though. I'm just saying the universe was literally laying everything for us. You know what I'm saying? She's single now. So I'm like, um, hear me out. Like that's the point of the point of a date isn't to oh, what did I say man? I said something very smart. I said the point of a date is to get to know each other. It doesn't mean that if we go on a date we are in a relationship or pursuing a relationship. You know what I'm saying? Okay, there's something in that line, but I was trying to tell her that I'm not trying to like jump into your into your range into date me next, you know, type vibes. So she was like, okay, no, I'm I'm free, I'm free. Um just hit me up. So I cool. So Wednesday came and then something came up. I told her, okay, fine, let's go Wednesday. Wednesday came, something came up. So we couldn't do Wednesday. I said, yo, um, oh yeah, by the way, I hate making plans on Fridays. Every plan I ever made on a Friday fell apart. It was bad. Like it just, it just fell apart. Like it never worked. So I was like, hey, um, can we link up on Friday? That's how I knew the universe was on my side, bro. We linked up on Friday. Oof. And she was cute, man. Ah, I just remember her outfit. Oh, she got her hair done. Like it was like different from what she normally does. <sighs> yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know she got she 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 she, she um got her hair done, um picked her up and I was like, whoa, um, you look amazing. And she was like, you you look good too, you know. And she was like, yo, like I'm really shy. So I was like, um, I have three options for you because I didn't know what you're into. Um, so I was like, if you like pizza. This place A. If you like pasta, this place B. If you like burgers, this place C. I get three options. And she was like, um, I don't know. And I was like, so, and she was like, um, what would you prefer? And I was like, because I like you, I'm trying to impress you. So, like, just give me an answer. Then she was like, just drive and wherever. Wherever your body leads you, let's go there. So I bet. So we drove. 
a uh, cute restaurant, pulled up, um, ordered wine before we decide on like, hey, since we still talking, you know, let's order wine and then we can decide on what to eat, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> we ordered wine and she, um, we, we started talking. She asked me about she she was she's very intent into what she wanted to know like she knows what she wants that's what i liked about her you know what i'm saying she knew what she wants so she knows what she wants trust me like she has she has a plan for her life yeah which no one can shape she has a plan for her life that no one can shape but she has a space for the guy she wants to have her life with you know but that guy needs to be in tune with her plan like not she won't tell you what to do she just wants you to be mentally stable available ready to move in a certain way she wants a serious assured relationship but i'm not looking for that i'm still looking for that market like uh i would rather be in a relationship because i really don't like talking to multiple women i'd rather talk to one but i won't lie like it's coming it's coming do you remember in the beginning i said i don't even know where my relationship status stands right now you know but a lot of people don't ask me about my religion or ask me about anything regarding religion something randomly came up oh yeah she is a supporter of the lgbtq she told me about an altercation she had with a friend at church. You know, you know, LGBTQ at church. Boom, she wasn't ready for the type of biblical knowledge I had. So she was like, whoa, oh, like, why? Which are like, how do you know so much about the Bible? I was like, I mean, I kind of grew up in the church, you know what I mean? Like, kind of grew up in the church like then how did you become like this and try bro like i had the similar conversation a few years ago maybe 2015 um i don't know if the the person i am right now is a bad person but i won't lie the person i am right now is a you wouldn't think i go to church you wouldn't think i know this much about the bible based on the things I do. But like, um, I'm a strong believer in God uses his people in your capabilities, in whatever you do. I don't want to get into deep in the Bible, but like, if you want to look into how the disciples were picked, you know, and how um, Zechariah was picked out of a crowd, if you want to look at Lazarus, you know, look at all the people, all the sinners, that were that were given god's mission and then all the sinners that were given god's mission so i'll i'll stop there and there was like a, but i was giving her like points you know like i just want to get into that she was like whoa okay she likes that she she is christian but was having questions about her religion or her beliefs because um other stuff you know so i'm not gonna get into that but like we spoke about it and i think she she liked how i approached the conversation i don't even like i was impressed at how i approached the conversation but guys like i was so into this person that our our wavelength was so in tune bro the, the conversation was just bouncing off each other but it was just it was beautiful bro that was the other first day it was nice bro. i loved it um after that she had to go she had to go somewhere and she was like i really don't want to leave but like i made previous engagement you know like but this was beautiful i would like for us to do this again she says next date is on me and i was like whoa if you know you know women don't spend their money like that you know hear me out like women spend women have money women have money women spend money on anything and everything here yeah? except a nigga you know i have friends like lady friends that, that will buy me food or whatnot but that's 
kind of not the type of spending I'm talking about. Women would rather have the guy she likes spend on them. You know? She was like, I got you. I said, okay. Date number two is on you. Now, guys, between date one and date two, we had, we both had you and them, like I said. Um, so we'll run into each other, we'll run into each other, we we'll, would we'll meet up, we we'll would get like um, snacks and shit. Those weren't dates, but like, they were beautiful moments, bro. We would sit down, talk, you know, have fun and, oh, but by the way, I hadn't kissed her date one. Say she doesn't kiss on the first date. So, we're chilling on campus, you know, talking. Listening to music, bro, and like, oh, she, like, I love covers. I don't know if you know this, but now you know this. I love covers. So we listen to covers, and I can't sing, but I'm singing along. It's like, what? You listen to this song, like, girl, don't play with me, man. I feel like you knew this, and I feel like you're setting me up, but like, got you. Hey, so I'm the type to ask, may I kiss you? Because I don't want to lean into a kiss, and you're like, you know? So she's like, why are you asking bro? And every every girl ask, says the same thing, but like, I don't want to be embarrassed, you know? So I'm like, I have to ask. And she was like, wow, really? Okay, I like that. And she was like, yes, you may. So we then shared our first kiss. But sad to say, bro, like, this Han was my type. I don't believe in star signs, but she was the star sign meant to my star sign. All conversations flowed. Ah, she was a light-skinned baby. She had money. Okay, I don't know if she had money like that, but, like, she was willing to spend money on me. That, to me, is a win. Um... Yeah, and she made time, bro. Like, when I say she made time for me, she had things to do. And then she would say, I'm, I'm coming to see you. Bro, with other hands, you'd have to be like, can we link up? Can we make plans? And she's like, oh, okay, I'll tell you when I'm free. This hand didn't wait when she was free. She made time. But I fumbled it, bro. How did I fumble it? Ish, that's a deeper story. It probably started when I was six years old. I got shit to work on now. Like I'm being serious, though. it sounds funny, but like um, I got I got serious shit to work on. Like I said, said um, with this hand, I actually had like proper, decent, real conversations with her. So, <clears throat> so. I got, when we stopped talking, when I fumbled, hey, bruv, I fumbled, bro, I fumbled a bit, you know, but like, um, in that realization, I realized I have a lot of things to work on, like, the man, she brought out, like, a lot of good things, but we, we wouldn't have been talking for that long, bro, like, I think a month, in that particular month, bro, was, like, my grinding was just up, my focus was up, school-wise, okay, we both weren't attending classes, but school-wise, sheesh, getting money, sheesh, bro, and I had to sit down and think about myself, like, why, why is this person, let's go back to my alter ego, tell you always posting sexual shit, tell you always posting very fat asses, tell you always posting this, tell you always posting this, why am I doing to go back to that shit bro I, like i had to think about it i had to myself i had to talk with myself i had to talk to my boys and tell my boys yo guys just be straight with me bro like just tell me one thing my homie told me is bro he's he he understood he, he was like yo i get it bro like you really like that hand but your problem is 
you fall too fast and you post too fast. And I was like, yo. Because technically, if I never posted her, I probably would have still been talking to her. You know? But um, sadly, which I understand, like I want in full capacity, I fucked up. I understand, so I learned to accept that and I'm still working on me, bro, like a better version of myself. So, yeah, for the next video, I'm going to tell you about the new person I'm talking to. She is fine, bro, like all she needs to do and she wants to do, she's fine. Um, I like, I like hanging out with her, like spending time with her. But like I said, my homie told me you post too fast and you fall too fast. I'm taking my time. This is how it I am the lion, the king of the jungle. Call me Mufasa. I call him Matara. I am the lion, the king of the jungle. Call me Mufasa, the king. Call me Matara, baby. Let's go. So, sheesh, bro, it's been a minute. I hope y'all like this. I hope y'all share. Drop a comment, you know. Little, literally, though, like, um, drop a comment. 